Hey guys, Ronnie Wolf here, back with another video for first time in about two months. It's been a while since I've uploaded something, so I thought why not do some March Madness. Um, here's my uh, March Madness prediction of what I think is going to happen in the bracket. Now, I think this year's bracket was really good. I think it's going to be a, some great games. There's going to be some some big upsets in my opinion. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, so first game, we got Duke versus... Uh, I think it's North Dakota State in North Carolina Central, if I'm correct. But, yeah, so the winner of that playing game plays Duke. And we did have UMBC beat Virginia last year, but, nah, Duke's definitely going to win that game, no doubt. And uh, we have v next, next game we have VC versus UCF. Um, I think that UCF is a good team because of their 7-6, seven, 7-7 seven, seven player named Taco Falls. Um, but I honestly think Virginia Commonwealth University is going to take this one home. Um, I'm pretty confident with them. Um, Mississippi State versus Liberty. Now, a lot of people have been picking this Liberty upset. They did, um, win their conference. <laughs> um, Mississippi State is, I think they were four, sixth in the SEC. I'm not sure. But I honestly just think Mississippi State is just like two. I think they should have been seated higher. They're 23 and 10, which isn't bad. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. But they, I think they should have been seated higher. And honestly, I'm going with the Lib I'm going with Liberty. What's their mascot? I don't know. Yeah, we're going with Liberty here. Um. So yeah, next next uh pick we got Virginia versus St. Louis. To be honest, St. Louis probably shouldn't be in. I know they won their conference. Obviously, they should be in. But like, they aren't really the best team to be in the tournament. So, honestly, I think Virginia Tech's going to have a pretty easy time with St. Louis. Now, maybe maybe St. Louis can shock some people. Who knows? Um, here we got Maryland versus Belmont Ten or Temple. Or T Belmont or Temple. And this this game's been getting a lot of talk. This game actually happens tomorrow, the Belmont and Temple game. Um, I think that Belmont is a really good team, and they deserve to get in. I think they'll beat Temple in the play-in game. Now, I think it's Maryland versus Belmont. Belmont, a lot of people have Belmont, but I have a feeling that... Belmont is not going to do good with all the hype around him, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's just kind of – I think Maryland's going to do it. Now, do, I think Belmont's a great team, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Belmont does beat Maryland, to be honest. But I think I just – I've got to go with Maryland, honestly. Like, I just – I really do want to pick Belmont, but also, well, if Temple wins, I think Maryland's going to beat Temple. So it's kind of a safe pick to have Maryland in there. And we got LSU-Yale. And some people are going with Yale because of the LSU coach. And honestly, I could really see this 14-3 to upset, to be honest. I don't really think LSU is that good of a team. They're pretty good, but I don't think they're, like, the team that everyone, like, makes them out to be. So, but I'm still going to go with LSU in this first game. Um, we got Louisville versus Minnesota. I think Minnesota is a pretty underrated team. But I honestly, I'm feeling good about Louisville this tournament. Now, they don't really have the best record. I mean, they're 20-13, and 13, which isn't bad, but... I don't know, man. Minnesota, they did do good in the Big Ten, cha Big Ten Championship. I think they lost. Did they lose to Michigan State or Michigan? One of the two. They lost to one of the two. They beat Purdue. So I think Minnesota, both teams are pretty good in this matchup, but I honestly, I'm going to go with Louisville. Um, and we got Michigan State Bradley. Michigan State's a great team. They've been good the whole year. They, uh, What's their point guard's name? I don't know what their point guard's name is, sorry, but he's a great player, I know. So we're going to go with Michigan State there. So there's our first round of 32. So here we're gonna go to the West, Gonzaga versus. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. My bad. Um, but yeah, the playing game of those sixteen seeds. Honestly, we're not gonna have a one. We're not gonna have a one sixteen upset this year. I'm sorry. Um, so we got Syracuse versus Baylor. Um, Syracuse has been playing pretty good the whole year. Baylor's been okay. They did not do good against Iowa State in the Big Twelve turn tournament. Not good at all. Um, I don't, Iowa State is a great team, but we'll get to that in a second. But um, Syracuse, I think, will pull this off. Syracuse seems to always do pretty good in the in March Madness. I don't know what it is about them. And next game, we have Marquette and uh, Marcus Howard, I think his name is. They're a star. I think he's a point guard. I don't know. Um, versus John Morant and Mor Murray State. Oh, bro, there's so many people who think, like, underestimating Murray State. Now, they're not really underestimating them. They're calling them a good team, but... I think Murray State's going to do it. I really do. I like these 12 versus 5 seeds this year. And uh, next up, we got Florida State versus Vermont. I think I think that, I mean, Vermont is 27 and 6. It's a pretty good record. But, like, honestly, I got Florida State. In the, I think Florida State is a really good 
sleeper good team that's like not the highest ranking they're four which is pretty good but you know what i mean we'll get to that in a second um buffalo versus uh arizona state or st john's now in this game i think arizona state's gonna pull out pull it off in the playing game but i think buffalo is actually a really strong team stronger than people think so we're gonna go with buffalo um texas tech versus northern kentucky northern kentucky has been in the nit a lot and they last year i remember they almost got in but we're gonna go with texas tech um yeah Texas Tech didn't really play good versus West Virginia, but I think they're still going to uh, uh, come out with the victory. Um, Nevada versus Florida. Now, Nevada started off the season very high ranked. I think they had like a really good win streak, if I'm not wrong. But I think that the Florida's have coming off a lot of hype in the SEC tournament. They beat LSU three times this year, which is crazy. They beat, um, I think they beat... Oh, who they beat in the regular season? I don't know, but the, even though their record isn't that good, 19-15 is okay. Nevada's 29-4. and four. They did lose to uh, Utah State um, that one game, and then they lost. Who did they lose to in the playoff? I don't know, but sorry. I got Florida in this one, though. Um, and then we got Michigan versus Montana. I'm pretty sure they did play each other last year, which is kind of weird in the tournament when uh, Michigan was a three seed. But I got Michigan in that one. So we're going to go to the Midwest here. North Carolina versus Iona. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry. North Carolina's got this. Um, Utah State versus Washington. I really like this Utah State team. I think Washington is good, but I don't really think they're, like, I don't really think they're good enough to beat Utah State. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. They're a good team, though. So I got the Aggies in this one. Auburn versus New Mexico State. Now, I'm actually surprisingly heard a lot of people picking New Mexico State over this one. I think Auburn, Jared Harper, they can shoot the ball, but they're just a great team. I got Auburn in this one. Uh, Kansas versus Northeastern. Um, I'm a Mizzou fan, but I'm not. I'm not just gonna pick against KU just because I'm a Mizzou fan. I think KU will win this one against Northeastern pretty easy. But their team has not been the same this year. Dedrick Lawson's doing pretty good for them. Quentin Grimes is complete like disappointment. Honestly, Devon Dotson's okay. Um, yeah. Iowa State versus Ohio State. This is a good, I think this is a really good matchup. I think this is going to be a really good game. Um, Ohio State, I think, should have been maybe a 10 or a 9, honestly. Um, maybe. I'm, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, this is a pretty good matchup. But I do got Iowa State in this one. They have really strong coming off the Big 12 tournament win. They did very good in the Big 12 tournament. Um, yeah, and then we got Houston versus Georgia State. Uh, Georgia State did win that one game against Baylor when Baylor was a three seed and they were 14. We got some R.J. Hunter when he hit that three-pointer. That was a great play. But I don't think it's going to happen again this year. Houston is a very strong team. Uh, they did lose against Cincinnati in the American Championship, but I think they'll be fine in this game against Georgia State. Wofford versus Seton Hall. This is going to be, I think, one of the best games in the first round. One of the best games in the first round is going to happen right here. Now, I think that Wofford is a very good team. They had that one shooter, but I can't remember what his name was. What was his name? I don't know. But I know I know this is going to be a great game. But I just, I honestly just think that Seton Hall is going to pull this one off. I think Seton Hall is the strong team here. I think that after making it to the Big East Championship, they're going to be have, have a lot of hype. So does Wofford. I mean, they're are they undefeated in their conference? I think they were, but yeah, I think this is gonna be a great game. But I think I th I just think Seton Hall is gonna edge this one out. Um, Kentucky versus Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian has, uh, has um, a player on there that goes to the high school that I go or I'm going to go to, which is pretty cool. But I gotta go with Kentucky. Kentucky's a very strong team in this tournament. And then we go back up to the South region. Virginia versus Gardner Webb. It's not gonna happen again. I'm sorry. They're just they're not going to lose again to a 16 team. I got Virginia in this one. Ole Miss versus Oklahoma. I do not think Oklahoma should be a 9 seed. So does a lot of people, a lot of other people. I do not think they should be there. I think they should be either a 10 or 11, which is not really that big of a difference, but it's fine. I think Ole Miss is going to win this. Uh, their coach, I can't remember what his name was. He got uh, SC Coach of the Year. I think he's a, they got a pretty good squad, but honestly, I just don't think this is going to be that good of a game. I don't know. Wisconsin versus Oregon. We got a lot of people going with Wisconsin, a lot of people going with Oregon. I think Oregon is on a tear right now. They do not have the best record. If they had Bull Bull, 
I mean, they'd be a great team, but um, I think Oregon's going to pull this one out against Wisconsin, though. I really like these 12 seeds this year, except for New Mexico State. I think Auburn's a very strong team, but um, yeah. Here we've got K-State versus UC Irvine. Now, at the start, I did have UC Irvine over them, but I changed my pick because uh, I just... Now, I know Dean Wade is questionable. That's a, the, that's the big question over K-State, and people are sit, like saying that even if Dean Wade doesn't play, or if Dean Wade doesn't play, UC Irvine is going to win. I think the, Kansas State is such a good defensive team that UC Irvine is going to have a tough time scoring against him. So I'm going to see with K-State here. Villanova versus St. Mary's. A lot of people are picking St. Mary's because of the upset against Gonzaga. Um, this is a pretty tough game for me to pick. But I... I Defending national champions, I know they're a six seed, but defending national champions, I don't think they'll take a first round exit. Purdue versus Old Dominion, um, a lot of people were talking about the Old Dominion coach, or he just came off of cancer. Be a, honestly, like, even if I'm I'm picking Purdue, Purdue, but even if the Old Dominion win this game, I'll be happy because that'd just be such a good story if they can come back for their coach. I think this should be amazing, but I do got the Boilmakers in this uh, in this game. Cincinnati versus Iowa, now. For all the people picking against or picking Iowa, here's my here's why I'm picking Cincinnati. They should not be a seven seed number one. They should be a six, even a five. I'd stretch it to a five. Honestly, I could see Cincinnati being a five over Mississippi State. Um, they won against Houston in the American, and they might have beat Houston earlier in the year. I'm not sure. Um, they're a great team, and this game is literally being played in Columbus, Ohio. And those Cincinnati fans are crazy. And last year in the um, Last year in the tournament, when Cincinnati was a two seed, um, when they played Georgia State, uh, we, they played Nashville, Tennessee, and I was actually at that game because Mizzou played the, later that night, and there were so many Cincinnati fans in Nashville. So I think Cincinnati's definitely going to win this one, especially playing in Columbus. Um, Tennessee, Colgate. Uh, I'm just Tennessee's one of the strongest teams. You've got Schofield, you got um, Grant Williams, bro. Th- their team is just not going to get beat for a while. Let's just uh, continue in the South. We got Virginia versus Ole Miss here. Um, Ole Miss, I mean, they they've had a pretty good run this year. I mean, they're what's their record? Twenty and twelve. I mean, it's not bad, but Virginia, I don't think they'll choke again. Um, I think Virginia's got this one. Oregon, K State, will Oregon complete the run? I think K, I, I really think that K State is a better team than some people make them out to be. I think they'll beat Oregon in this game. They they have a really good defense. They got Barry Brown. The I think he's the. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. Probably not, but he, I know he's just a really good defensive, uh, defender. Okay, I, I don't know. But, yeah, K-State's going to pull that one off. Uh, Villanova versus Purdue. Now, this one took me a long time to decide, like probably about 30 minutes last night, um, last night to decide. I really want to go with Villanova, the defending champions, but I just have a feeling. I just have a little feeling for no apparent reason at all. I really do not have a reason why I'm picking uh, Purdue here, but I just got a feeling Purdue's going to pull this one off. Um... And here we go. We got Cincinnati versus Tennessee. They do play in Columbus again, what I mentioned with this one, but I just think Tennessee is such a good game. We got Schofield and you got Grant Williams. I think Schofield's first name is Adam, but don't quote me on it. So, yeah, um, we'll leave that there. And then we got Duke VCU. Duke is just such a strong team, man. Like, they're just they're just too strong, um, I think, to be beaten by the Virginia Commonwealth. I think Duke's definitely got this. Um, Liberty versus VTech. Vitek's another strong team from the AC, the ACC this year. is amazing, but uh, Virginia Tech, another strong team from the ACC. We're going to go with Vitek, ending Liberty's little run. Um, Maryland versus LSU. I think that this matchup is where the coach of LSU comes into play. This LSU, I think, is going to get by Yale pretty, not pretty easily, but like they're going to get by them. And then once Maryland comes, I think Maryland is just really going to get them. I think Maryland... Had a little bit of a bad ending of the year, but I think they're going to come back a little bit in this tournament. And here we go, bro. Louisville versus Michigan State. Now, I have no apparent reason. Well, actually, I do have a reason why I'm going to pick Louisville here. Yes, I'm picking Louisville to beat Michigan State. Michigan State has a very, very talented team. Um, no no doubt. Um the last couple of years, they just really haven't been doing that good in the tournament. I actually can't remember where they exited last year. Um, yeah, I don't. I can't remember. I know they won the first round at least, but I think that Louisville is going to pull it off. They actually did play each other earlier in the year. Louisville did beat Michigan State earlier in the year. Now it was like a four-point game in overtime, but still, I think Louisville's got this one. I'm really confident in Louisville in this game. 
and I really think they're going to win this game. Um, here in the West, we have Gonzaga versus Syracuse. Um, I'm I'm liking Syracuse. I like them as a team in the in especially in the NCAA tournament. I mean, like they made the Final Four as a ten seed one time, and I think they made the Elite Eight as an eleven seed, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. But yeah, so I honestly I got Gonzaga in this one. I think Gonzaga's just good, just gonna edge out Syracuse. I think it's gonna be a pretty close game, more close than people think. Murray State, John Morant versus Florida State. I'm telling you, this Florida State team is very, very good. I think they have the potential or they the talent to be a three seed in this tournament. Honestly, maybe even a talent to be a two. I, I don't know, but I'm gonna go with Florida State in this game um, against Murray State. Buffalo versus, uh, versus uh, Texas Tech. Texas Tech did not have the best game versus West Virginia. they kind of fallen off during the end of the year. They're going to beat Northern Kentucky. But I honestly got the Bulls, Buffalo Bulls here in this game. I think a lot of people are underestimating Buffalo just because they're not really like a big Power 5 uh, conference team. So I got Buffalo there. Um, Florida versus Michigan. Uh, honestly, at first I was about to pick Florida because like I just – had a little hunch, but I think Michigan's honestly going to edge this one out against Florida. So we got North Carolina State versus Utah State. Um, I, once I, I did say that Utah State's a very good team, which they are, but North Carolina is just too good. Kobe White, um, Luke May, um, who am I forgetting, bro? I, yeah, <laughs> I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, I think North Carolina's got this one pretty easily against Utah State. Um, Auburn versus KU. Um, a lot of my friends are KU fans. They all think that KU's going to win, but that's just how they are. But I think Auburn's going to get this one. Jared Harper's a great shooter. They did. They should have lost to Florida in the SEC tournament, but they did kill Tennessee. If they, if Auburn comes on fire from the three range, they could be pretty dangerous in this tournament, honestly. But I got Auburn against that. Iowa State-Houston, there's another game that took me a long time to decide. Like, Oh, it's probably about 25 minutes, honestly, just on this game. Like, I just couldn't decide who to pick. But Iowa State has been on a tear at the end of the year. Um, Houston has, but I think they're just going to be a little, like, a little bit, like, bummed out after not winning the American two years in a row after losing two both close games to Cincinnati in the American championship. So I honestly got Iowa State in this game. So, yeah. And now we got Seton Hall, Kentucky. I think Seton Hall is a great game or a great team. Both oh, Wofford and Seton Hall is going to be such a good game. But I think Seton Hall, but Seton Hall is a great team versus um, going up against Kentucky. I think Kentucky is just going to be too strong for him. I'm going to go with Kentucky here. And let's just continue here. So Gonzaga versus Florida State. There's a lot of people picking Gonzaga in this game. Now remember, last year Gonzaga did play Florida State in the um, tournament. And Florida State won this game. Florida State last year played Mizzou. They beat us, which they should not have been a 90. They should be higher last year. Um, They beat us. Then they went on to play Xavier. They beat Xavier. And then they beat Gonzaga. So I think Florida State's going to do it again this year. I got Florida State. Florida State is one of these teams that is very good, very underrated. No, they're not underrated, but they're very good. <laughs> Buffalo, Michigan. I think this game is going to be a pretty close one. But I mean Buffalo, like they're they're a pretty strong team. Last year on bracketology, I couldn't or last night on bracketology, I couldn't remember who it was, but one of them had Buffalo going to the Final Four. But I think Buffalo's run is going to end there. I got Michigan in this game. North Carolina, Auburn. Once again, if Auburn can absolutely be on fire from the three range, I would not be surprised if Auburn wins this game. But I think North Carolina is just going to be too much of a powerhouse for them. And here we go, Iowa State versus Kentucky. This one took me a little bit to decide because I really like this Iowa State team. But I just think Kentucky's just going to edge it out. I think Kentucky's a really strong team this year, just like they always are, obviously. But, yeah. All right, let's go back up here. Duke versus Pete Tech. Um, Duke is just such a strong team, man. Like, they're – Zion Williamson – um, oh, uh, what am I – dude, what am I saying? R.J. Barrett <laughs> and uh, Cam Reddish. They're, like, all – like – I wouldn't call them the dynamic trio, but like, I mean, honestly, like, now without Zion, they're not as strong as a team. They're still a pretty good team without Zion, but I think Duke is going to advance in this. Um, Maryland versus Louisville, my 6-7 Elite Eight, or no, no, um, Sweet 16, a little, 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 um, uh, um, what am I, little risky. 
uh, picking those teams. But honestly, I think Louisville, honestly, I really do think Louisville is going to come out with this win. Louisville, from the a- ACC, they pro- I think they just only have a bad record because the ACC is so strong this year. I think they're a very good team. Um, on to Virginia, K-State. This should have been a matchup last year if Virginia didn't lose to UMBC. But I think a lot of people are underestimating Virginia in this tournament just because they lost last year to UMBC. I think Virginia is going to make it to the Elite Eight um, this year. I don't really think they're going to be that like, like what do I say? Like that, like s- like still. I think I don't even know what I'm surprised. I think they're going to play good. I don't really think they're going to care about the UMBC game, right? Purdue versus Tennessee. I think it's going to be a pretty good matchup, but Grant Williams, Adam Schofield, too good. I think they're too good for Purdue to handle. Purdue probably shouldn't have finished second in the Big 12, but I got Tennessee here. All right, here we go. Final four. Or what am I? The lead eight right here. Um, Duke and Louisville. I don't think Louisville is going to continue their uh, – little run that I have them going on here. I think Duke's going to win this game, go to the Final Four. Virginia, Tennessee, I really, really like this Tennessee team, even though they did lose to Auburn in the SEC Championship by 20 points, which is really not good. But I think Tennessee really got this, really has this game in their hands. I think Tennessee is going to advance to the Final Four along with Duke. And here we go down here, Florida State versus Michigan. I really, really want to pick this Florida State team to go to the Final Four. Like, this team, what is going on? <laughs> this team is very talented. I think they did play Duke very pretty close in the um, ACC championship. I don't know. If, they don't think they beat Duke early in the year. They might have beat North Carolina. No, I don't know. But Florida State's a very good team. But honestly, I'm just gonna go with the safe bet and pitch, pick Michigan to go to the Final Four. Michigan's still a strong team, even though they did lose to Michigan State three times this year. Yes, three of their losses to Michigan State. Well, I don't know if that included their um, their uh, conference championship loss, but I know they lost three times. North Carolina, Kentucky. This is going to be a very good matchup. Very good matchup. North Carolina, Kobe White, Luke May, and then their whole team is stacked. I think North Carolina is honestly going to pull off this game. So here's my final four: Duke, Michigan, Tennessee, North Carolina. Now. It's not really good having two one seeds and two two seeds in the final four, but this year I just really think that's what's gonna have to go down to. I think that this year, like, there's a lot of like really good teams this year that are the high seeds and you know. So here we go, Duke, Michigan. I really don't think Michigan's gonna be able to uh, beat Duke. Duke is just such an unstoppable force. We're going with Duke in this one. Um, Tennessee versus North Carolina. North Carolina, a great team. Tennessee, a great team. If this happens in the Final Four, I can't wait to watch this game. This game is going to be a great game, honestly, to watch. But I think Tennessee's done in this game. I think Tennessee's run is over. I think North Carolina's going to do it. And here we go. The fourth time they played this whole year, right? North Carolina's won twice. Duke's won once. North Carolina's played Duke twice without Zion. Or if you count that, 30 seconds of the first game. This time, I think Duke is going to do it. Tie the series at two to two this year. Become the national championship, the, na- the national champions of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Tiebreaker. Um, I really, I think it's not going to be like, th- like it's going to be a close game. I really think you think it's going to be a close game, but I think it's going to be somewhere from like seventy. I think it's going to be seventy five. To 72. I, li- or 72. 72. I like this score. So, yeah, um, this is a, this is my bracket that, or, ooh, oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so this is my bracket, um, my bracket predictions video. Uh, this is my main bracket. I'm not going to submit it on ESPN because it was my other bracket on uh, CBS. But, Yes, this is the bracket that I'm going with. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a great video idea by uh, one of my friends who suggested it. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.